Hello everybody and welcome back to more Risk of Rain 2. We're jumping in again. This time we're just going back to a classic, The Huntress, but we have randomised and we've given, given ourselves a bunch of different skills here. Um, so we've got a passive momentum, we all know that. Uh, but then primary, we're going with the Rock Eye Mini. Uh, quickly fire a non-seeking arrow which sticks and explodes after a short delay. Both hits trigger on hit effects. Very nice. Our secondary skill, we've got the Laser Bowler through a seeking hard light net which slows and pulls... Uh, groups of targets dealing damage. We've got our phase blink and then here we've got our destroyer. Charge up a piercing blade dealing 900% to 3,900% upon fully charged releasing and a stunning shockwave. Very interesting. Very intrigued how this is going to go. I do like playing as these vanilla characters with vastly changed up abilities. I think that's quite fun. Um, and this this character seems like a good one to do that with. Of course, we get a little phase blink thing here going on. We like that. Grab that right off the bat. Attack spread damage to nearby enemies. We like that. So, n now, as you can see, normally these home, but we actually have to be accurate with these now. They do not harm. But they do some good damage with the exploding and stuff going on. We like that. They do have some dip to them, too. Ooh, that's, that's really satisfying to be able to hit that. A little difficult on these flying enemies that are directly above us, though. But goddamn, is it satisfying to hit. Right. Let's try to see if we can get this guy. I hit him, but couldn't kill him. Ooh, not having Herming on this character is weird, man. It's good, but it's strange. The chest down there. Let's try our right click ability at some point here. That's kind of similar to the to the regular ability, right? But apparently it's going to pull enemies together. I quite like the idea of. Oh god damn, we're actually really low on HP here. I did not realise we were taking such damage. I like this thing has a bit of AoE as well, though. That's nice. Dude. I'm getting shit on right now. I'm getting shit upon. That's kind of good. Don't exactly know how that works. Let's keep my distance for a little bit from the, the big lot of enemies and just go for some uh, chests. We've not really got that much money to work with yet, though. That's very nice. That's going to be quite valuable. Extra boss damage is going to be really nice later on as well. So, does this... It slows. It says it pulls enemies towards as well, though, but I don't know how it's doing that. I don't, I don't see that happening right now. Damn, so we've, we've got a lot of, uh... A lot of non-herming stuff going on right now. Makes things a little trickier. Okay, there you go. It's, it's like, dragged them together there. I see that. I've got to be really careful with this, because it doesn't... My R ability doesn't automatically charge it, but I've got to hold R to charge it. Dude, the flying enemies are going to be such a pain in the ass. I can already tell I'm going to hate it. <laughs> Ooh, lots of extra attack speed there. That's potentially good. 3D printing attack speed. We like that. Did we roll past any chests over here? No. Got to be some though, haven't they? Right, let's try this. That's, that's pretty gnarly. Pretty weird looking skill, though. Hey, nice. Increased damage, we like that. Right, so let's let's give this a go. Let's stand up here and... Okay, that just completely missed. Okay, so it has very, very little AoE on it, which is not great. Kind of hoping we'd have some regen on that. 
Dude, that's really nice though, being able to suck them all in together. Mr. Fly guys, we don't we don't much care for you. They're not that hard to hit really, it's just getting the angle right. Depends what distance you're at really, doesn't it? How hard it's gonna be. I don't really want to use the teleporter yet, because I'm pretty weak, but. Bulwark drone, I don't really know what the bulwark drone does. Teleporter's right here. Bulwark drone's doing some damage. I didn't realize it did damage. Maybe it's just when it takes damage, it deals damage, something along those lines. I don't think I've really used the bulwark one before. Right. Whoa, oh my god. Okay, so that's, that's going to be our boss killing device right there. I think that's going to be pretty good. Very nice. Ah, oh, really? The beetle guard thing again? I think I'm gonna go for full-on attack speed. I've only got three items to work with here, so it's not a lot, but... I think three times attack speed with this is... It's gonna be pretty good. Make it a lot easier to hit when we're just sort of spamming. Okay, let's get out of here. Not a bad first floor. Pretty weird setup we got going here, to be honest. Pretty weird setup. These skills maybe aren't the best in conjunction with one another, but I like the um, being able to drag enemies together. What the hell? Where am I? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? That was well confusing. Forget what the backpack does. I know what that does, though, so I'll take that. We'll hang around near this. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, look at that. The fire rate is amazing. We just rain down hell. Can we fire it straight up and then see it come down? Nah, not, we can't quite fire up at the right angle to do that. Yeah, the dip is, is pretty aggressive. Ooh, dude. Yeah, there you go. We've got some enemies spawning near us now. These guys still scare me. Okay. Item. Hey, fire a missile and taking heavy damage. That's the thing that we saw earlier in the uh, shop. It's alright. Missile and heavy damage is fine. The good thing is with this, it does quite a lot of damage. So if you do hit the weaker enemies that are flying, it will most likely kill them. I do like the fact as well, like I said, it's, there's a tiny bit of AoE as well where it hits. So you can deal some sort of sort of peck damage. Mustache is good if I remember correctly. Got this thing again. Incinerator drone. Not a lot going on on this stage in terms of enemies. There you go, finally. Got some there. I really like that. Being able to group those together and use our uh, ability to slice through them all is very, very nice. I'll go the extra odds. It's not amazing, the extra odds, but it is it is a bit of extra for uh, some different items that work that way. Yeah. Taunting enemies is kind of nice. You think I can't still see you, fool? There is a very, very slight bit of herming. It's very much... It, it's not a lot at all. Don't know what that shrine does. Chest-wise, we have much, much extra here. Another bulwark. I'll take that. The bulwark seems pretty good. In fact, there's an incinerator... Sh um, one over there. Drone over there. I might go for that, too. That is an active item. I'll take an active item as well here. Transforms an item into its essence. Into its essences. Okay, so that's basically a way for us to get stats. So if we if we get an item here, then we see... Contemporary shield. Yeah, let's, let's get essence. Slightly increase attack speed. Okay, I think this is going to be a pretty goddamn good item for us. So we're able to just turn items we don't want into stats. 
Look at that, that's such a fun skill. Combo, I like that a lot. Right, let's go buy that incinerator drone, which I think was like 360. Don't know exactly how much it was now. I'm pretty happy with the uh, firing a missile. 263, okay, we can't quite afford it yet. We'll be able to shortly, though. I like the fact that we've got needles there for the extra crit chance stacking. It's nice. Basically, the longer we go without critting an enemy, the higher chance they have of being crit. So close. Come on now. There you go. We got it. Start this bad boy up. Beautiful damage there. We need to take out these guys, really. The fire guys can do so much damage to us if they hit us. God damn, that does so much damage. It's lovely. Don't destroy my drones, you prick. I know you can, but you won't. Yeah, I want to try and get some, some items that build towards drones. I've never really done a drone build, but it's quite plausible. That is... Drop random buffs on using skills. Okay. I don't exactly know what that means. Okay. You can get a fly with this item. <laughs> That's pretty useful to know, actually. If it hasn't got a target, you can kind of fly with it. Right with that. Gimme. Hey, 8% extra damage. I believe it's 8%, isn't it, from Fork? Yeah, 8% is pretty good. Incinerator drones doing its thing over there. Got another one of these maps with these giant floating blocks in them. Does, does anyone know what these are? I've seen it on a few maps now, and I don't really understand what they are or why they exist. Because they they're not vanilla. It's definitely something modded. But I don't know what it means. Chest there, lovely. Oh, hello. Just kind of watching the show, are you? Halo, movement speed belt in the air is pretty good. We jump a lot, quite a lot. I wonder if I can turn scrap into its essence. And I wonder if that's any use. Okay. Unfortunately, I've perished immediately. That was a, a rather quick death there. Right, let's, let's change up some of our skills a little bit here. Because I feel like these aren't the best to work with one another. So let's take a little look what we've got going on here. Shoot a volley of three close range arrows with highly uncontrollable spread. Um, critical strikes cause the arrow to split into two. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. That seems interesting. And then this. Toggle manual aiming mode. Your primary skill will charge up an arrow for extra damage and ignites on full charge. We'll try that out. Throw a glaive. Homing arrows will also attack enemy stuck with a glaive. Let's try that out. Okay. All a bit different. Let's roll it back again there. I'm intrigued by this R ability. Malice. Ooh, yeah, that's a... That's a shotgun and a half, that is. Oh, God. Our spread's pretty bad. Oh, God, our spread's fucking awful. Maybe a bit more close range, right. Our ability. Oh wait, this is like a permanent thing, I see. Ooh, I like this. So we can toggle between shotgun for clo the super close range. And we can toggle back to uh, our ability. That's pretty cool. And then here we've got this. 
I completely missed with that. We're going to want high crit. We can, we can spam shot it though, look like this. I think I'm going to stick with this mode, to be honest. I don't really like the weird FOV change that it does, but... Well, look at that. The damage is really nice. And I've got my shotgun mode for if I want to, like, if I build up my crit and get a bit closer to that being useful. Try the mountain over there. I like the fact that this sets them on fire as well. If I can set them on fire, then tap shoot. I can set you on fire as well, even if you're made of fire. Don't think I can't. Don't think I won't. Lose a portion of your current health and gain that amount in gold. Seems pretty useful. Hehehe, <laughs> sniped boy. Like Malice spreading the damage as well, that's nice. Shrine of the Mountain here. Well, of course, take that. Back to the shotgun form. Don't know if we've got many more chests to see here. Your drones are overclocked and get attack speed and chance to burn enemies. See, this is the drone stuff I was looking for in the last run game. But I loved that. Would have loved that in the last one. Uh, so when I teleport, it takes me out of thingy aiming mode. Which is slightly annoying, but fair. There's another Shrine of the Mountain over there. It's very risky, but I think we'll take it. Oh, really? To teleport me to the wall like that? Game, stop. You know what I want to do. Can I not easily do that? Apparently not. I haven't had a first floor double shrine the mountain in a while. So getting up close and personal as this character with this is pretty gnarly. Could do some real damage. Especially on crits, goddamn, but crits are wild. Every stage contains a rift with three items, but you will die if you don't close the rift in time. Considering we don't have great movement speed, I'm, I'm kind of scared to take that, but also it sounds fun. I'm going to try it. I'm hoping it doesn't count for the stage. I'm going to imagine it doesn't. Right. I haven't got great movement speed right now, so it's not the best for us. Music's fucking popping off right now. Alright, boss. Ooh. I was like, why is the three of them? I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's literally what I signed up for, so... Makes sense. I need a backup plan for what I'm going to do, like what I'm going to get behind once you get to low enough HP. I can't really use my thingy ability right now because I need the ability to dash and stuff. Dude, how are you hitting me? I might just die here, straight up. Straight up death, y'all. I need to change over to this ability, so I've got some range. Look at the amount of enemies here, this is wild. Why is there so many?
Okay. I think I've got this under wraps somewhat. I don't know where I'm getting all my uh, thingy from. Oh, I've got te I've got the, um, the 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 brooch plus an item. This one here that stops barrier decay naturally. It's rather nice. Keep forgetting that dashing switches us back over. Very annoying that. Right. Just keep our distance. Take out the majority of the annoying enemies. And then start fighting the actual real bad guys. Yeah, you got you dead. God damn, this has been wild. <laughs> oh, I think we got it. Wow. That was unexpected. Gotta remember, next stage there's gonna be a portal that I've gotta find and I've gotta be very fast. Very, very fast. Which, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of speed right now, so it's not going to be super easy. Right, what do we get here? Grant a small chance to duplicate drones and turrets on purchase. Drones and turrets have a small chance to revive themselves on death. And then we've got another thing that's drone oriented. Oh, we, God damn, we've got some cool drone stuff going on right now. Try to check what this item over here does in the 3D printer. I'll use one on it. See what we get. Ooh. Um, I can't risk my turtle brooch going away because that's very important to us right now. But that's some good stuff. Right. Let's go. Remember, we've got to be speedy and find wherever this portal thing is. I don't know what, what I'm looking for either, which is going to make it a little harder to find. But that's our main goal as soon as we get into the stage. Ah, oh, there it is. It's marked for us. That's useful. Unstable rifts detected. Okay, we get, we get given a minute. What the fuck is going on? How do I shut it? I got frozen by something? I don't even know what. So this is wild. I could easily die to this if I just hit it at the wrong angle sort of thing. I just gotta get in there and hope for the best. We only get two free items, which isn't as much as I was hoping for. But so, oh, that's what froze me last time, I see. Okay. Let's buy some items now. That was that was kind of crazy. Don't know what this brain thing does. Move slightly faster, slowing impact, impacts you less. Okay, that's good. And we got jellied souls. Teleporters right here. Kind of nestled in, to be honest, but we found it at least. Yeah, I'm going to need some higher base movement speed for dealing with those in the future. Okay. We did see quite a lot of stuff where we spawned. You never really spawn at this side, you always spawn at the other side. There's a chest there. Is that a big boy? No, it's just a regular chest. Gain some shield, speed boost when your shield is broken. I like all these ones to do with shield. I think shield is an underused mechanic in the base game. It's good to have it here. I want to get that up there, but... I don't think I'm in a position to be able to 
easily get up there. Right, okay, we found a few. Stay away from me, freaks. There's some of these little capsules about. I forget what this thing does. Donuts. Kind of okay. Not great. So many of these little capsules about. Right. Get to moving and grooving. Go find the teleporter. Want more turrets, please, game. I've got stuff that, that enables me turrets to be pretty goddamn good. I'm opening these because you sometimes get an item out of them. Not often, but you sometimes do. Yeah, there you go. This this, this ability is so good. For taking out big boy enemies. Right, let's get some moving. I want to try and get the blue portal before I go, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I don't have the, the ability to climb that high. Sticky bomb, nice. The shotgun's good, but yeah, it just, just doesn't compare, does it? Like, if we have more crit on the shotgun later down the line, I feel like it's a lot more usable, but right now it's kind of meh. Ooh. When your health bar is full, um, fires... Oh, the sword beam one. Yes, we like that. We like it. Yeah, I don't think there's any way we can get up there, to be honest. What the fuck is this? Touch the totem. No idea what that is. Well, that's that taken care of nice and quick. Game restores a portion of your shield. Yes, we like that. Keeps that shield nice and healthy. Okay, we're off. Remember, we've got a speedy boosty straight away at the start of the next stage. Haven't increased our movement speed at all, though, I don't think. So it's, it's going to get harder and harder. One minute twenty-five. At least we get slightly, slightly more time on the larger stages. It's a really cool idea, though. The Invisible Rift are just firing a bunch of crap everywhere. A hey, shield generator. We like that right now. Good stuff. Nice, we got our freebies. One of these invisible chests here. Oh, damn, and it had that in it. Nice. Although, I don't think that does anything for us, because our ability doesn't have any... Uh, like we can't have more than one of it. It's just a mode that we changed to, which is a bit of a shame, because it's... Good, but it'll reduce the re recharge on it when we're not using it, I guess. God damn, I love that. I like firing these swords out as well. While we're at full health. These swords do some extra gnarly damage. Right, what else we got going on here? Dude, the damage we can output right now is beautiful. That's our teleporter. We'll come back to that.
Damn it. Not using the right ability. Oh, and I can't quite make that either. That's annoying. No, it's not where I want to go. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Another one of these invisible chests. They're pretty rare. Oh my god, these things are so hard to hit with this mode. Look at this! Oh my god, that was so difficult. Uh, we'll go with that, thank you. That guy just decided to commit. He did not want to live anymore. Oh, hello. That on a crit is just lethal. Damn it. I was hoping that would boost me up, but it didn't. Ooh. <laughs> yes, please. I will take ATG Missile Launcher, thank you. The disposable missile launcher is very good. Got some extra bleed stacks as well from that surgical mask there. Extra crit chance, finally. We like to see it. Um. Again, I don't really like that one. Uh, game gold. Okay, I think we're ready to go now. Unfortunately, we've got quite a ways to go. Oh, that, that Shrine of Chance still works. I forgot we've got the Monolith. It allows us to use Shrines three times. But well, one additional time. Oh, I couldn't have found that in the first stage with the two, two Shrine of the Mountains. Could have been four. Right. Boss time, we do have a blue orb around this as well, so we can take some extra bits from there. Should be able to kill the boss real quick here. We do this, change over to this ability, get this nice and ready, and then fire off a bunch of rockets. I never remember really what these bosses do, but I remember they can kill you really fast. I think it's something to do with these guys. I think you've got to uh, take care of the, the friends. Dude, how fast are these goddamn guys chasing me? Fuck off. You see how I just took a ton of damage there? There you go. We're good. In here we go. Yeah, this melee charge to restruct, like, with your abilities is... I don't know how that works. I'm guessing I dash through them. We've got quite a lot of money here. What in the ever-living fuck is that? If shields are active, any damage that exceeds the active shield amount is negated. Why is it so fucking massive? Bunch of those bad boys. Out of here we go. That was weird. <laughs> Come in here for our extra items and we leave. There's something going on here already. I can hear it. That's beautiful. What on earth is all of this? Uh, it's these things. I forgot about the rifts. No, I'm going to die. I forgot. I forgot. I was like, what's all that noise? Oh, yeah, it's that thing that I have to do. Otherwise, I die. Oops. <laughs> that was almost pretty bad. I'm like, just sat there like, mm, wonder what that could be. That's a lot of noise.
Really? You do You literally fucking dodged that, you dick. Oh god damn, you're hitting me pretty hard, my good sir. Oh, I hate that goddamn attack. Discover an essence, okay. I like a free essence at the start of the stage. Can you stop moving, my guy? There you go, we got him, we got him. Oh lord, that put me on way lower health than I expected. Chests, please, where art thou? I love that. Attacks with this thing are so satisfying. I feel like a real sniper. Ugh, jellied souls. I don't really care about jellied souls. I, I think with like loader, it could be good. For the extra like damage that you that you fall on enemies with, but I don't even know if it'd work because you don't take fall damage just loader, I don't think. Oh do you? I don't remember. I haven't played loader in a while. Loader used to be my favourite character. He still is, I just haven't Played him in ages. I will take the wax quail so that I can jump with some vigor. Ah, uh, fuck off. My god, this game's annoying. Oh, really? Something hit me in the back. Either way, that's going to leave off this episode. Not the best one ever, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.